Odd, we have had a quiet weekend and that extends into a quiet Monday today as we look at our conditions outside, beginning with our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar this morning. And we scan up our interstates, no weather related troubles. If you've got a trip up uh, towards Boston or Worcester roads are dry. The skies have cleared out there as well, and we'll give it the green light for our travel today and during the daytime on Tuesday. Heads up though for Tuesday night. We've got a strong cold front that'll come through. It's going to deliver a good slug of rain here during the later evening and nighttime hours into early Wednesday morning. Could pick up around an inch of rain. Uh, accompanying that will be some strong winds from the south, and those winds could be as high as 35 to 45 miles per hour with the strongest winds along on the coastline in places like Narragansett, Newport, Westerly could end up with some isolated wind damage or power outages. And so something for us to uh, watch for tomorrow night. Today, the winds are very light. We're out the door in the middle 30s for our temperatures right now between 30 and 36 degrees westerly to Providence. High pressure is keeping us dry. This is the frontal system that's going to be the first of several shots of cooler air. So as we look ahead in the seven day future cast, we are seasonable today warmer than normal Tuesday and Wednesday. And then after that, it looks like a stretch of at or below normal temperatures. Initially, not terribly cold, but certainly noticing a shift in the pattern. Future cast 9 o'clock this morning, mostly sunny skies. This is at 3 in the afternoon. This evening and tonight, just an increase in the clouds, but remaining dry. Some light showers possible during the day on Tuesday, but they turn more widespread by the evening hours. And so you can see rain through the night and into early on Wednesday. So some heavy Heavy rain and some strong winds around this time still Wednesday morning, but it doesn't last all day on Wednesday. So the bulk of the precipitation going to fall during the nighttime hours from uh, Tuesday into early Wednesday. And how much rain are we talking again about an inch? This is the European models uh, latest forecast and you can see it shows us about uh, well, either side of an inch of rain with the heaviest again during the night. So commuting into work this morning, looking at dry roads for today. We'll be seeing temperatures falling maybe another couple of degrees ahead of our sunrise. It's just before 7 a.m. this morning and it sets at 415 this afternoon, but it's a nice day mid to upper 40s, mostly sunny, dry and seasonable, and we're pleasant and dry New Bedford Fall River and Seekonk. The evening 39 at 6 o'clock, 35 by 11. Notice a future cast for the shower chances tomorrow. I like how this starts to see that increase in showers, clouds on the increase starts to turn breezy through the afternoon afternoon with those rain chances likely by the evening commute. Seven day future cast. So 47 for today, 55 for your high tomorrow. Warmer than normal with the warmest part of the day going to be during the evening and nighttime hours. In fact, those mid 50s on Wednesday, that's in the morning hours. We'll drop into the 40s as the skies clear Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, Friday, both looking cool and dry. And then all eyes on the weekend. Friday night into Saturday, our computer models trying to show hey, a storm system developing. Certainly some unsettled weather during that. Friday night to Sunday time frame with rain, possibly cold enough for some snow. A lot of moving parts that have to come together for that to happen. So the timing and impacts at this point are still uncertain and we'll keep you updated as we continue to fine tune that forecast. Your full future cast.